So how did you um, first develop a passion for Real Hour? What, what first it sort of got you interested? Um, being a, a boy from the age of his, it's always lager, lager, lager. And, um, and got coerced to go and um, go up to the Cotswolds and visit a lovely, you know, the old-fashioned country pub. And um, obviously walked into the pub and said, oh, will you have a drink? I said, oh, I like lager. And it was uh, one of those Star Wars moments when uh, everybody looks at you and goes, no, you don't drink that around here, son. And so I tried the SBA lager, uh, the less behaved beer, I should say, from a local Donington brewery. Absolutely loved it. And from that point in the early 80s, I've been hooked ever since. And um, so, real hour it is, yeah. Lag lagers, ooh, way down the pocket. Fantastic. And um, with, with pubs, the current climate at the moment, I mean, what, what advice would you give to them? And what is it you love about pubs that you think could get, get customers back into the pubs? Um, several things really. I mean, um, I think that the, a lot of people own the pubs have got to stop uh, leaving the landlords and the la landladies dry, charging far too much for the drinks on occasion. Yes, yeah, sorry, just taking the drinks away. And um, uh, charging far too much. I mean, a lot of, a lot of licensees can buy cheaper from the cash and carry on the local shop down the road. And um, you know, also you've got to make it. You've got to make it. Um, great environment for families and for women and, and stuff like that. You know, if a pub's working and you're getting you're doing good business, then that's great, keep it. But if it's not, you've got to think out of the box sometimes. And that might mean, you know, how can I make it more child friendly, how can I make it more women friendly? Um, and also, you know, do I have to move into food or, or something like that? Or do I have to get better real out of it? But you know, you just gotta sometimes think out of the box.